Mornings would like to welcome you to 2012. Lots of things are happening in our great city of London this year, especially the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. To commemorate her jubilee, we've developed a series of beautiful gift caddies and blends called the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Commemorative Blend Tea. It's a mixture of tea from the Assam region of Northeast India and the Yunnan region of China paired together to make a beautiful blend that you're gonna like any time of day. This tea, when you look at it here in a box, absolutely gorgeous. It's got a high tip content, so you can see those beautiful bronze pale tip bits popping through in the, in the black tea. It smells fantastic. There's nice caramel aromas wafting up here as I'm speaking to you about this tea. And uh, great with milk, great without milk, great with sugar, great with anything sweet if you're like me. So we're gonna brew some of this up now and have a little taste and hopefully it's gonna taste as good as it smells. So we've looked at the leaf and now what we're going to do is we're going to brew some of this up and we're going to start to have some of those really delicate, beautiful flavours that I'm really hoping I'm going to find in this tea. So we've got our tasting crockery as we use in our uh, tea tasters. I'm going to put a heat teaspoon in there. And then if you're making this at home, I'm going to make a pot with you as well. So I've got here a nice glass teapot where I can see the infusion process happening. And in this container, I'm gonna put, uh, put six heap teaspoons in there. So it's usually one per person and one for the pot. But do you know what? I like it a bit stronger, so I'm gonna put one more in. I've got my kettle here that I've boiled. Now, interestingly, when you're boiling the kettle to make your teas, I always find it's a little bit better if you cut the kettle off as soon as it hits the rolling boil because of course if you allow your uh, kettle to continue boiling you're boiling out all the dissolved oxygen from the water and that's really going to impact some of the flavor and taste that you can get from this fantastic tea so as soon as it starts to boil just knock, knock the kettle off and you can use it straight away Right, so I've given three and a half minutes for our tea to brew here, and the, uh, the aromas are really teasing me, so I can't wait, my mouth's salivating to come and taste some of this. So I've got my tasting crockery here. I'm gonna put that in there. We're gonna have a little taste and begin to explore and identify some of those delicate uh, flavors within the tea. Now that's Sam tea, interestingly. First discovered in 1823. A nice addition to a timeless classic such as the Yunnan tea coming from the south coast of China. So this tea here in the tasting crockery has come up a lovely, bold, deep ruby red. Always a sign of a really, really good quality black tea. The aromas are very, very malty and uh, I I'm really looking forward to trying some of this. So without much, uh, much more of ado, Now, there I've got the Assam coming straight away. Thick, robust, malty, a little bit of astringency, giving way to a different length in the flavor and the character of the tea. Something coming through the, the Yunnan, sweet, mellow, delicious. This tea is gonna be fantastic with any uh, desserts or sweet pieces. It's great, it's gonna be able to take milk, it's gonna be able to take sugar. Alternatively, it's gonna be really fantastic on its own. So I hope you enjoy this blend and that uh, it's gonna be worth every penny. So I hope, as I have today, you're going to enjoy tasting the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Commemorative of Blends. It's a limited edition blend, so uh, only while stocks last, by visiting either Waitrose, our 
twining shop in Strand in the London or one of London's Westfield centres or by visiting www.twinings.co.uk forward slash shop. Enjoy.